when I grew up in, Saint, in Stonebridge St. Rest, we used to have these community parties, everybody out in the street. I've lived in Brent for over 30 years and I've always loved it. I love this borough. I particularly love, you know, housing, Stonebridge. Uh, I'm most at home when I'm here. I've lived in Wembley all my life, so obviously the area, I'm, I'm really well known with the area. I was born in this borough uh, in June 1960 and I've lived in Monks Park, Wembley for the last 50 years. came to this country and got involved with studied um, theatre design. Brent, Brent, Brent was all about music, food, vibes, family. Wherever I am in the world, if it's Vegas, New York, like this is home, like this is where I'm from. I schooled here um, and I've pretty much spent my, most of my working life in this bar as well. This bar means a lot to me because like more of a community and like the people around are like family. This is my roots, this is where I come from. I joined my parents here um, in the early 60s. Um, I was 11 years old and I lived here and this is my home. I was born in a place called uh, Norfolk Park Hospital. Grew up in a place called Stonebridge. I also lived around the corner in, uh, in Pitfield Way, that's St. Raphael's estate. Went to primary school in Brent, went to secondary school in Brent. Studied at what is now the College of North West London, which was Wilsdon College of Technology. I went to school, Mallory's Primary School, so South Brent. I've run a, uh, a youth football team in Neasden and um, I coach in many different primary schools in Wembley and, and Halsden and yeah, all over the place. I came here as a child December 1965. I went to John Kelly School in Neasden. This borough has given me so much. It's given me the opportunity now, right, to help this borough to develop even further, to, to make things better right, for the next generation of, of people coming through. I've seen a lot of things. I've uh, seen great things. I've seen bad things. Uh, and it all contributes in some sort of way to anything that I will write. I can never forget my borough because there's so much memories I've got in this borough we call Brent, like, This borough gave me everything, it gave my family everything. I truly do believe in the motto of Brent, which is forward together. I'll always call Wembley my home. This is where I'm from, you know. I'll never, I'll never forget where I'm from. If I'm funny here in my hometown, which is, could be to a multitude of different types of people, then I'm comfortable going anywhere in the world. Back in the 90s, Harlesden and Kilburn was pretty rough. You know, it was um, this poverty around you, this crime around you. So that was my, you know, my like surroundings. And I didn't want to be part of that. So for me, that was the motivation to push to become what I want it, what I am now. It's about lack of opportunities, why people do the things that they do. And so how do you create opportunities when you have a beautiful place like this? Obviously there's a lot of people working, you've got properties being built up, but people need to be inspired. Nowhere on the planet have I seen such multiculturalism on this scale and um, like successful multiculturalism as well. I think it enriches the experience of living, it enriches you as a person. You'll just slot straight in because it's so diverse. We have over 200 different languages spoken in Brent alone. It's very vibrant and I think, and I love the fact that you have so many languages and you don't even have to travel, you just encounter all those cultures. You've got the Nizan Temple and I look at it and think what a you know, fantastic work of art. Other people obviously go there to worship. Most immigrants feel at home in Branch because when you look at everybody feels at home disregarding your ethnicity, your gender or your religion. From Pakistan, from India, from Africa, from the Caribbean. I think Brent is a, is a bar that celebrates diversity. As a melting pot, it has worked. I'm taking my kids to all these, all these different restaurants, all these different places, and they appreciate all, all, all the very various cultures. You could buy food that, you know, we grew up eating or food that we eat back home. And it's all very peaceful. I had biryani for lunch, so I mean, that says so much about how many people I know, right? I'd remember 
when I used to go to the shops, whether you can speak English or not, you was served properly, you was uh, made sure that you know you are helped. The leaders of the, the faith communities and the ethnic minority communities and bring council, you know, are working hard to make sure we do get on together and that we, we share you know, our resources uh, and we're here for the same reason at the end of the day. My father was always, you know, uh, always kind of reinforcing our identity as, you know, Africans, but also encouraging us to be, to contribute to this community as well. If you want to own a business, you'll be able to do that. If you want to go into TV or theatre, you'll be able to do that. I remember my mum telling me right, that uh, when, when she first came in, I think it was 1965, she was walking down the street right, and she saw another Pakistani Asian lady and she, she was so excited to see somebody else and she ran across the road to meet this woman you know, just to say to her, hi, I'm Pakistani as well. You can be whoever you want to be and we're not going to hold you back and there's no limitations and that's the beauty of kind of living in a diverse borough where you accept people for who they are. Being able to wake up in the morning and say, you know what, I want to write this book or I want to host this event or I want to set up this clothing line and there's nothing stopping you from doing that. That for me is success. I try to actually inspire the next generation in terms of uh, hopefully being like me and you know surpassing my achievements. There's still a lot of room for improvement but everyone has to take you know, the opportunity and showcase what they've got and what they can do. The way I saw it, chase my dreams, which I'm doing now. So I'm glad to be here, it motivates me. I'm always willing to be here. I love helping people, it's a council. This is where I grew up, it's Brent. So I just want to help out my people, that's, it. that's the way I see it. Brent's just a land of opportunity from my eyes. That's what I see. The majority of change has been architecture, with shops, buildings going up. They've changed old style flats to new, so they've knocked down and start again, which is a good aspect because they're going back to past the 80s. So you can imagine that change structurally, you know, it just looks different, it looks better, it looks brighter. We were the sort of first generation, I would say, of a sort of very diverse, mixed population. It has changed. To me, it gets a, a lot bigger and brighter and cleaner. It's better than how it was when I was growing up. It's more vibrant and I noticed that they're making it more colourful because it used to be dull. So it's more everywhere you go you've got this um, sort of bright areas. Because you have people from different backgrounds you've got people that's going to have a wealth of knowledge from different countries. People don't realise it, but there's everything. You have easy access to Wembley Stadium. You can go anywhere in the world and tell them you live in Wembley and they will know where you live. When I think of Brent, I think of it's fun, the Wembley outlet, there's a happy community, fun activities, Wembley Stadium and I'm proud and it's popular. Community, housing, safe, help. The whole community has been changing, but it has been it's been fine, those changes. We had the largest industrial estate uh, on our doorstep, which is Park Royal. People walked to work, number one. People smiled when they walked to work because in their nostrils was the smell of McVitie's digestive biscuits. Every morning you're going to work with a nice smell. In that category of thousands of young people, each of them is an individual who does need the required attention, who does need sort of their life and their goals to be sort of addressed directly, not just in a general vague way. Now it's about getting the young people and coaching them and then they become the coaches of the future. We have seen everything change in Brent in the past 50 years. We are part and parcel of the development in Brent. I think there's going to be a lot of development, especially in the Wilsdon, Wilsdon area and stuff like that. I think as, as London spreads further and further, like there's going to be investment in some places. You've already seen what's happened around here, so it can still go even further. I've seen you know, fantastic changes in Brent. Uh, you know, it's turned into a sort of a cosmopolitan, multicultural, ethnically diverse uh, uh, um, borough, and it's just a fantastic uh, place to live.
I get my hair cut, uh, uh, cut in style on Wembley Triangle. Uh, that's been my barber for a long, long time and years and years and years and they do a great job. I can't fault them for it. Courtney's laughing at me now because obviously I need a bit of a, uh, a little bit of a shape up now. When I was growing up, uh, there used to be a local hairdresser just around the corner, Italian guy. But now I, I get my hair cut from an Afghan person. I'm a dull guy. I love walking in parks. I love the library. I just love places that enhances my thinking. I don't like to see people wearing the same like what I'm wearing. <laughs> so many of them wouldn't bother to go to Harrow, but I go there. With my hair done, I get that done in Lovett Grove. There's some great places in um, Wembley Park. Um, there's a, a great um, Greek restaurant called Jimmy's that I, I go to um, from time to time. Where I get my hair done would be in my area. I live in Harlem, so I get my hair done there. Actually in Houston now you have Caribbean as well Portuguese food now in Houston. And then you go down south, you have Indian restaurants or go north to Wembley. And then oh, not only that, we are now a lot of fusion restaurants as well. Hey, I get my hair cut in Empire in Neasden Shopping Centre. Brent is diverse, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. They've got good shopping facilities, mm -hmm. i.e. Westfield, Brent Cross, the Wembley Outlet. Let's, yeah. There's loads of things that you can do socially. If it's not raving, it's cinemas. Brownwood Park was a very beautiful park. Still is in its own way. We used to, I used to enjoy going there. I go to Lattie's uh, Barber down the road. I go to the right jerk chicken centre. You know, those are the type of places I go. I go everywhere. One thing that people really do not know about St. Raphael's Estate is that it has the most beautiful park that surrounds it. Um, it has so much greenery around it and it probably has the most green out of any, any estate I know anyway. Carlsden, I mean, is a place that I like to, to go, and, go and, you know, eat food and, you know, there's loads of different Caribbean shops down there that are, are beautiful. Taste of Lahore, Wembley Central. Uh, that's the spot for me. Oh yeah, much. I used to go over to Wembley Market like every week. That's not there no more. Anything that you, you want, vegetables that you want from the West, is there. And it's been, Blue Mountain been there for many years. You also got Cricklewood. That's a nice area. And compared to Wembley, you can tell that is a real Brent. I like to buy from small businesses, so I go to I go down Wembley High Road and I go to the small independent businesses. I think it's really important to support them. My mummy used to say, wherever you are, life is what we make for yourself. When we take the time to share those backgrounds, it's remarkable how similar we are. I see the talent that we have in this borough. I see how committed and how passionate they are about the borough and how everybody really cares about where they live. I like this borough. Like, there's always people around, there's loads of things you can do. And there's like loads of places that you can develop whatever you're good at. There will always be opportunity where you are because you can create that opportunity for yourself. Being where I'm from, I want to show now the kids that you don't have to be a statistic, you don't have to do crime, you don't have to, you know, just be part of the problems. I'm like, I'm going to be a success. On business, what? Yeah, I went to jail. Yeah, I got expelled from two schools. It doesn't matter. Despite that, yeah, I come from a broken home. Yeah, I come from Stonebridge. Despite that, I'm still going to be all I can be. A man who was raised in Brent can go on to do these things. If I could do it, then anyone can as well. This is my roots. This is where I come from. Stonebridge, St. Raphs, Harlesden, Harrow. You know, this is my neighbourhood. I love that I come from a place like that, that I have that in my soul, you know, in my fabric. I think it starts from school because a lot of the schools are mixed here, you know, so it starts from that and families grow together with the children growing within the schooling system. I feel like a lot of the kids in this area do struggle with role models that aren't 
in sort of music or football, basically. We are trying to be role models for these young mm -hmm. people, um, as well as most importantly giving them somewhere safe that they can come mm -hmm. to and feel, you know, safe. They can feel that they can enjoy themselves. They can feel that they can have fun. They can meet new friends. And hopefully by building those relationships and those um, establishing those different skills and stuff like that, they're able to definitely use that in their later life. I look at Wembley Stadium and, and you know, as, as a young child wanting to play football I, I, I trained effort and you know at Queen's Park and, and then went up to Wills and Sports Centre and we just went there and, and you know kicked around a football and, and had fun. He looked at Wembley Stadium and was proud that you know the home of football is actually in the borough that I live in. Through my job and also because I live in Brent I've spoken to local businesses and especially pubs and restaurants and there's quite a few of them that told me that if the stadium wasn't here they probably wouldn't be they wouldn't be around. I think it's um, an up-and-coming area I know how much the council have invested in trying to look at what Wembley means and how they want Wembley to be moving forwards I think the fact when you look at the London plan the GLA's housing plan that it's one of the key identified boroughs I think speaks volumes for what the local area should be. Brent has always been uh, a, a borough where community cohesion isn't just a word, isn't just a byword, it is a reality here. As Brent's getting better, obviously house prices go up and it, it, you know, the affordability for, for young uh, people that want to stay here is going to be more difficult. I think in terms of like, there's always facilities in Brent, like if you want to be gym or just come to a local park, like, and you can come here and just do it for free. You get to experience everyone's different cultures, like especially when you're growing up, you learn, in RE, you learn all the different like religions, you like, make friends from all over the world. So. That's, that's not bad at all, is it? It is a very positive borough. The composition at the council has always been good, well balanced, and uh, it has particular attention to its minority communities. And we find that very positive. You can tailor all your bad stuff and say, okay, I have a choice here. I can either wallow in the bad stuff of what has happened with me, or I can use that, channel it into something creative and do something great for my borough. Being from Stonebridge, it is, a, it is one of the poor, it was I think one of the poorest areas as well. And I think it might still be in a sense, but at the end of the day, people like uh, will push themselves to achieve a lot of success. I like Brent. People always say to me, why don't you go and work out of Brent? And I said, no, I've got more to give back into the community because I live in the community, I've got more to give back. You do have a chance here if you're willing to go for it. It's not you're going to sit there and just be giving it. You have to go on ahead and go get it. But you do have a chance. It is recognised. I remember in, in, in the 60s, they used to have uh, cigarette machines outside. Coal men used to come to deliver coal. The newspapers, you, you know, you could pick them up from outside the shop. The swimming pool in Gladstone Park, I miss it desperately. And I think to get to the swimming pool that time was only two pence or five pence. And it is a lagoon-shaped swimming pool with little huts as changing rooms. As a boy, I used to do shopping in Church Road. I remember going to every Saturday morning, going to get the bread from Paul Tregessa, the hot bread shop. There were lots of tennis courts as well. Some of us who like to run around playing balls, the park is big and lovely. And then if some of us like nature, you have the herb garden as well as the uh, rose garden. So we used to hang out in the park when we were in school because it's free and it was beautiful. I love Brent, it's like Carlsden is my heart and I know that that sounds corny but it's so true like you know I feel comfortable here you know friends and family live around here again you know my career began here. I love living here because of people we know and it's, it's just like as a bar it's like wearing a pair of your best slippers or something you feel comfortable in it. I do believe that there are lots of 
very talented musicians, you know, actors, actresses, uh, writers, uh, talented people that have come out of Brent. Um, I think there is an energy, uh, a positive energy uh, floating in the air here. You've got a home to be proud in it, to be proud where you live, to be proud of your neighbours, community. I think that Brent is life because I feel that Brent is an amazing place, it's full of amazing people and I, I simply feel that because it's so multicultural and diverse and there's loads and loads of amazing people, I've got my relatives here, I've got my family here, I've got friends here and I think it's just the perfect place, you can't go wrong. You know when I fly out of the country and I come back and then I'm in a taxi and as we pull up to Harzen and I start seeing the different shops, my heart just swells and I'm like, I'm home, I'm home, it's amazing. My name is Ibrahim and I'm Egyptian and this is my borough. I am Kazaya, I am Mongolian and this is my borough. I am Ilyas and I am Moroccan and I am from this borough. My name is Nerda and I am Algerian and this is my borough. My name is Alex and I am Romania and this is my borough. My name is Fadimo, I am Somalian and this is my borough. My name is Hanad, I am a Muslim and this is my borough. My name is Oham. I'm Pakistani and this is my borough. My name is Sebastian and I'm Romanian and this is my borough. My name is Zara, I'm Christian and this is my borough.